Hello, freak bitches. Yeah, I didn't think of it at all that way. I mm -hmm. thought of the podcast as just fun. Yeah. Just something to do for a goof. And I did it for years, like, irregularly, before I ever wound up committing to it. But like every few weeks and then yeah, a couple like in a row? Yeah, do it in the green room. We would do it in the green room. Mm. Joey Diaz would always get mad. Shut that fucking thing off. <laughs> you guys are always fucking online. You're fucking around online. Shut it off, Joe Rogan. He would get mad. <laughs> I'd be like, people like it. <laughs> You waste your fucking time on the internet. Yeah. I was Meanwhile, relentless. That's like the biggest part of his life. Now. I know. His podcast is gigantic for him. Yeah. Yeah. I just did it the other night. He was so high. <laughs> he, he fucking gave me the... He, he, I, I forgot where his studio was, so I said, send me the address again. So he sends me the address. I fucking pull up on this dark road, and I go to... I go, oh, he must have suck, fucking switched his studio or something, because this isn't the old one. So I go, oh, what the fuck? It's a house. I guess he's doing it in the back of his house. I fucking ring the doorbell. It's his house. It was so high, he gave me his fucking home address instead of the studio. <laughs> I'm texting him. I'm out front. Dog, Where I don't you? see you out front. I'm looking. The fucking street's empty, Greg Fitzsimmons. <laughs> and I walk in, and he's chewing down those, what are they, Black Star oh, something? Oh, God. He's got a bong going. He's had mushrooms. Lee Syatt is sitting there. His eyes are shut. Lee. The, he, his eyes are shut. I don't Lee know how he sees the equipment. It. I don't know how he does it. Lee, cause Lee can't handle it. You could look in his eyes sometimes. Like, I've been on a show before, and when someone says something... I always feel like we're having a conversation. Right. Someone says something, I go, what do you mean by that? Yeah. And then we're having a, a talk. But if you say, like, Lee said something, I go, what does that mean? And he was like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's him lock up, like, Ugh. It's just way too high to have this yeah. conversation. He was talking about how, <laughs> to, he was like, it seems like audio is the thing of the future. I go, what? What do you mean? And he goes, well, it just seems like. People, like, they're always on their phones while they're on TV or they're watching a movie. They're talking on their phone or they're, or they're looking through their phone or they're listening to things while they're doing other things. I go, what? I go, you, wait a minute. You're, you're listening to things while you're watching TV? You're wa what? Who the fuck was playing with their phone while they're watching TV? And he's like... You can see the, you can see the fucking paranoia wash over him like a tidal wave. I'm like, I gotta leave this poor guy alone. Well, because he's too high. Joey made... It's only 50 milligrams, and he'll take a 500 milligram pot, and he'll put it in the wrapper of a 50 and twist it back up. It does, it's mild. It's mild. I have four of them. And so he gets... that like it can be really dangerous well also joey's so good to him you know yeah. they just have like a very very unique relationship man yeah. i mean that that's a that's a goddamn show that relationship right there because mm. joey's like a father figure to him kind yeah. of <laughs> yeah in some insane way yeah, yeah joey's a sweetheart if, as long as you're on his side yeah but the worst place in the world is a guy who's against joey right like, Joey is what the worst. I've seen, like, God, Joey have feuds with people. Mm. It is a horrible thing to watch. Yeah. You know, like, because he, he's so passionate about his friendship with people that when someone turns on him, like, he's the as, as loving and as friendly and as warm as he is. Like, you know how he is. Like, when he sees you, it's all hugs and, you know, he calls you up. He calls you, Greg Fitzsimmons, what's going on, Yeah, baby? that's it. He's you're one of there, you guys just call suck you. your dick. Yeah. I know what you're doing, dog. You know, and, like, yeah. he loves you. Like, yeah. I love Joey. Like, I mean, he's my family, like, yeah. 100%. But if you turn on him, man, it's a fucking horrendous. I've seen him go after people. It's really? scary. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. He's so, like, it's, he's Cuban. Yeah. You right. know, and, you know, he came up, for, he had a really fucked up situation going, growing up. His, he found his mom dead when he was 13. He was mm. on acid. Yeah. I mean, it's like, he was raised by his friend's family. And he was sucking a tit that night, too. Was he? Yeah, he was sucking some girl's tit on acid. And oh, he wow. found his mom dead, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Boy, some symbolism in that, huh? <laughs> Woo! Remember when sucking a tit was like... Oh. This is as good as it gets. I don't need anything better than this. I still, 
It's still my wife. Thank <laughs> God, I could not have married a woman that didn't have nice tits. Oh, there's a and, lot of women out there with little tits that are angry at you right now. Sorry, you're not real women. <gasps> I'm kidding. Jesus, I'm kidding. But bitch. I couldn't have married one. Wow. I, I respect you, and I'll hang out with you. I'll let you into my shows. Wow. But I'm not going to marry you. I'll let you into my shows. <laughs> <laughs> 